Hi everyone, Ms. Moody here, District Librarian. I hope everyone's okay during this time of quarantine. I hope you're journaling because this is really, I can just picture in a couple years some really good books coming out of this. Um, this book, Charlotte the Scientist Gets Squished, I think some of you may be able to relate to it. It's a clever use of the scientific method, the storytelling. Um, it's written by Charlotte Andrews and read by Ms. Moody. Now this is tricky. <laughs> I'm a one woman show here. Charlotte the Scientist Gets Squished. Charlotte was a serious scientist. Protective lab coat and a magnifying glass were her essential scientific equipment. Plus a clipboard for important notes. Charlotte solved problems by conducting experiments that followed the scientific method. And Charlotte had a problem. She was squished. She was squished at the table, she was squished in the tub, and sometimes she was even squished on the toilet. It had become impossible to conduct her experiments. Her test tubes were taken, her beakers got broken, and her specimens were spoiled. Charlotte needed some space, time to use the scientific method. Step one, ask a question. How can I get some space around here? Step two, form a hypothesis. If I can get rid of my brothers and sisters, I will have enough room to be a real scientist. Step three, test the hypothesis, experiment. She tried an experiment to make everyone disappear, but it didn't work. She tried another experiment to make herself disappear, but that didn't work either. If she was going to get some space, then she would have to go there. Step four, make and record observations. Charlotte was no longer squished at the tub. She was no longer squished in the tub. Oops, in the table, in the tub. And Charlotte could take as long as she wanted on the toilet. Observations, meals, check. Baths, check. Toilet, check. Important experiments. Space was splendid. Finally, step five, draw conclusions. She had all the room she needed to conduct very important experiments using protective glasses, lab coat, and magnifying glasses. Her test tubes were tidy, her beakers looked brilliant, and her specimens were sparkling. Her hypothesis was correct. She finally had room to be a scientist. The only problem was there was no one to talk to at mealtime, no one to blow bubbles with in the tub. And what was Charlotte supposed to do when she ran out of toilet paper? Hello? Space was lonely. Charlotte tried chocolate, but it was too tempting. The balloons kept floating away. And robot bunnies were poor conversationalists. They got ruined in the bathtub and tangled in the toilet paper. Boop. Charlotte missed her family. She even missed being squished. She tried one last experiment. And reached a new conclusion. Charlotte didn't need outer space. She just needed her own space. Well, I hope you enjoyed that book. I want everyone to stay safe. We really are flattening the curve right now and uh, I miss you very much. All